Tuesday, guys. Welcome to the unofficial Man Cave Tuesday, the last one for the year. Whoa, hang on, we've got a bloody turn here. Um, I thought we'd just uh, shoot a video out. Oh, the last one for 2018. Oh, so I hope everybody's had a pretty good bloody week. I know it's crazy time. Hoppa. Um, so I'm basically, I've got to do a run to the post office to get some more uh, satchels. We've run out because obviously with the Christmas rush, we're actually surprised we've still got bloody orders coming in today, the day before bloody Christmas. So crazy. Whoop. So taking the shortcut, or more, more like the adventurous bloody uh, uh, adventurous cut. Shortcut, adventurous cut. I don't know, whatever it is. Oh, we might actually do something a little bit different. Let's see if we can get up here. Oh, don't go down there. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Now I've got a special. <laughs> oh my God. I've got a special message. Ah! <laughs> oh, you're bloody falling down there, guys. Oh man, tighten that up. Special Christmas message. If you haven't checked the oil on your motorbike, bloody well check it. <laughs> I tell you what, I reckon I nearly nearly blew up uh, Charlie, this bloody bike that I'm on at the minute. And this is part of the reason why I've coming out to do this on Charlie. I want to see if he's all still good. I started noticing that he was starting to, um, when I'd pull up at lights or whatever, after he's been running for a bit, this thing's not, sorry guys, this camera, it keeps falling. Ugh. Yeah, he was, um, he'd pull up to the lights and then he'd nearly die. And if I tried to pull on too much accelerator, he'd conk out and then he'd really be hard to start. Um, so I'd have to gently do it. So I, I cleaned the air filter. And the one thing I didn't do was check the bloody oil. So anyway, last night I thought, shit, I'll check his oil. Lo and behold, here is what I got. This is the oil, the oil that came out of Charlie. And my finger represents where the full mark should have been, how much oil he should have had. Crazy, so he was half full, <coughs> which is obviously not good, and he was trying to tell me that it wasn't good. I don't know when the last time I checked his oil, but obviously, you know, time just goes so quick. So luckily, he seems to be running really good now. Ah! All right, so, Man Cave Tuesday, we haven't got much. Here's, uh, we'll start off with bloody what's name them doing in the uh, woodshed and then it rolls into just showing you some of the shit that we've got done around the house. All right, I'll come back to you. Rightio, so what's Nay up to in the woodshed? Absolutely bloody nothing, but there is this thing here. This is a Christmas present for our granddaughter, Amelia. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, just in case they see this before Christmas. Now, Nay is actually up here. Whoop. Hello, Perks. There she hello, is. Hello. So you're working, you're just doing the bike a bit's crap. I am working because it's got to be done. Now, you show us this bloody thing you came at. You found this. Oh, my magic surprise. Yeah. Ah, you love this. Oh. Now, that's Nay's we'll little. Take him off, Fred. Fred, our styrofoam head, he's our yep. friend. So these are multi, multi scarves? Multi tubes. Multi tubes, scarves, yeah, that's yeah. it. So it's basically a scarf, you put it over your head. But look at this, so keep calm, we all know that one, and keep on riding. How bizarre. What the devil is I going know. on there? I know, the Asians are onto it. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know, is, have they got that from us? I mean, I know I'm not the only one person that use, I've seen Keep On Riding, there's a there's an actual song called Keep On Riding. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. But yeah, bloody crazy. So we didn't have to pay 
any design stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have them there. They're going to be going on the site. In about two minutes. Two minutes. So by the time they see this, they'll be on there. Cool bananas. So I'll put a link in the description to that. So actually here, I'll, I know you won't want to put it on. I'm not putting it on. So these Moldy Scarves, I must probably do a review because I know people keep telling me that um, I should do reviews of the bloody stuff. Basically, do it like that. It can be a neck warmer, so in the cold weather if you want something really light. In summer it's good because it stops when you're bloody riding along and you get the, uh, the sun on the back of your neck. Which I can tell you why, if you look at my neck, can you see that? Yep. Right. I get so burnt on there. Um, you can wet them when it's really hot, put it over, brilliant. You can bloody... Wear them as a hat? Yeah, wear them as a hat. You can do this type of bloody shit, if I know how to do it. <laughs> you tie yourself you in a knot. You can wet that, so when you're riding along, it's cool. If you have two of them, put them on there. I'll do a whole thing, I won't crap on, but yeah. Hang on, I'll do the hat. I'll do the hat. Will you though? There's a hat. Or... Do it like that. I mean, that's basically why they're called a multi-scarf. Multi-scarf? Tube scarf. Tube scarf. Multi-tube scarf. Multi-functional tube scarf. Brilliant! So there you go. Alright. So in the theme of what nay has been up to in the woodshed, obviously I think you saw that Mount Crumpet. She made a couple of those. I think she sold one of them. She's put one in here. That's our Christmas tree. And some of her signs that she's done. Yeah, I really like them. They're bloody magic. And she's yeah done well selling them at the markets. On our de-wallpapered wall. Obviously... Wall. I yep. love this wall. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful feature. It's getting painted. Oh. It is, I know, I understand it, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what the hell I was going to bloody say. Oh, that's what I was going to bloody say. Obviously, we haven't been doing anything in the house, as in, uh, yeah, like we did with the laundry and the floors and all that kind of stuff, but I will now show you outside. Righty, -o. so if you remember, I was doing all this stuff out here. So now I've got hanging baskets, more plants. So we've got the lemon plant, the mandarin, nays, bloody whatever they are. Hydrangea. Hydrangeas. That was the uh, that wood box. I don't know if I meant to show anybody this, but that was a um, what do you call it? A shelf that was inside, and I've flipped it around, cut it, put a roof on it. Made it look all bloody fancy. Got some uh, herby bloody lettuces and stuff like that. So that's come up really, I'm really impressed with that. That uh, came up way better than what I thought. That's the uh, the hijack off the Jeep, earning its keep in the backyard, removing fence posts. So let's go and have a look at our new fence. Finally, finally, we have got the back fence done. Would you look at that? Me and Nay, Wendy and Paul who are over there, we, we built this together um, and they had all these um, sheets of iron and they wanted to know whether we wanted the rusty side on our side. They didn't want it on their side but we did and we just love it. This has come up so well and that's eight feet, eight foot um, sheets of um, tin. All right, yeah, so there you go up there. Bloody hell, tall as. <laughs> so things I've got to do is this uh, rain tank, I'm going to build a stand so that's going to get lifted up a little bit further. Some of these posts, there's that, that big one there and another one over there actually were old uh, street signs. And what I'm going to do is put a weather vane up on top of uh, that pole there. So those signs, we didn't get these signs but that's what was on those posts. So we just took those off and used them on there and we just bought another couple of posts and then the, just the runners. It was bloody brilliant the way it, it, we got it all up in a day. So now down the side here, would you look at that, now that this garden has gone, this is so much space. So when I build the, the shed, it's going to come uh, right off. So it's going to be a metre off this fence here. 
So even though we're having a bigger shed, because that one there is six meters by three meters, and the shed is gonna be actually four meters by 7.2 meters. So now that we can move the shed way back, we're not actually gonna take up any more of our room. Oh, and I managed to get that railway bloody crossing. How's that? So yeah, all this dirt here, um, some of the dirt's been put down the side, but all that's come out of come out of there. So I'm just basically leveling that out. All these little concrete bits will come out. Will ya shut up? Um, but geez, I tell you what, oh, the amount of roots that we had to rip up, and there was obviously quite a few trees in there. Had quite a bloody job getting it out, but we did it. So now I'll show you what I've done out the front. Rightio, so there you go. I have made a start. I don't, I, sometimes I forget what I've bloody told people and what I haven't told people. But yeah, I think I was doing trimming up there. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But yeah, so started digging this out. So that's gonna go all the way down there. Oh, this was all full of hedge. So I've removed all that. And geez, you can see how bad all the bloody weatherboards are. We've got some replacing to do there, but yeah. So these are lily pillies, azaleas, and I don't know, other bloody bits and pieces. So that's all nicely tidied up. And then down here, this man, this thing, I've been digging at this thing and that is solid as. That's gonna take a job and a half to get that bastard out. It's crazy. So yeah, all that still has to come out. Now I've just been doing everything by hand um, and using the trailer. I've been to the chip, I don't know how many bloody times. They well and truly know me very well um, at the tip every day I'm bloody I'm taking them trailer loads there so but yeah, anyway it's giving me good bloody exercise I tell you what I'm getting stronger so I still got to get this uh, I want to get this bloody uh, what do you call it? where are you that that widened up that gate so that then we can scoot motorbikes down through there bloody hell it's starting to rain guys put this camera away all right so that's what we've been up to in and around here obviously lots of other little bits and pieces but that's been the major the major stuff and then hopefully we'll be getting that shed built very soon sorry guys just one last bloody thing and that is so my job i was gonna have i will i'm on an airing about having the shed over this side and then it was over this side and then it was back over here but now that we've got that big fence there we really like that look and we like being able to see that. So we've now decided that the shed is definitely going over here, which is a bit of a pain because that structure is there. So I have to move that to be able to start doing the, um, the slab to build the shed there. And I don't want to move that, uh, it's just a, I'm gonna to have to pull it all down and I'm gonna to have to find places to put all this bloody shit. Um, yeah, just there's a lot of crap. So basically, I'm gonna have to just pull the stuff down, hide it all away. And I've got poor old bloody CB250 sitting in there. All this shit has to go somewhere. But as per usual, I'll bloody figure it out in the end. All right, cool. Oh, rightio, guys. So I have got the satchels. Stick those in your bloody bag. Better put my phone in there. Rightio, back to now so she can do up the rest of the bloody orders. Beautiful. Oh, you, you're facing the wrong way, guys. Oh. Ah, that'll do. So, Charlie is now. So, obviously, the oil was the problem. Not enough oil, and he didn't like it. guys another shortcut oh, I'd love the shortcuts which one that one or oh. ah. no, I will take this one this one normally has a bit of water sitting on it even though it looks as dry as dry look at there you go hey shit oh. ah. Ah. easy as oh man ah. 
these tracks are just getting worse and worse. And I don't mind that because it keeps oh, people off them. Because I'm selfish like that. Ah! <laughs> and it also means that uh, you know, cancel and that aren't really too worried about what goes on. Oh, Jesus. Whee! Oh, actually, we'll go around this way. Shoot up the side and around. Oh, down. Beauty. Oh, yeah. Hup. Hey. Shit. Ooh, getting fucking water here, too. Uh, oh, I don't know. I feel like a little bit more. Where can I go? Oh. oh, I've never been up this. It looks like it possibly could, but you've got to be careful on the other fucking side because that's what you end up with. All right, okay. We've got a mountain gate at... Oh, right, oh, Charlie. This is where we work together. Get back as much as we can. And get him going. And then it's like, go, go! Oh, yeah! Beautiful! Huh. Nice! Oh. Rightio, so where the hell am I going? Oh, Jesus! Huh. Oh, shit! Up, oh, up! Oh. Alright, I'm not gonna get through that bit. Oh, far out. Oh! Go, Charlie. This is all right. Oh, friggin' hell! Go back around. Oh, that's really sh. Oh, just do it. Oh, <laughs> what around? Oh my God! Let's get back on a track. <laughs> There's a track, here is a track. Oh, boy. oh guys. Make me way home, deliver these bloody satchels to me so she can finish off the orders. Oh, all right, back to the bloody man cave. Okay guys, Matt's turned up, so I thought we'll throw in a happy hour. These are beers that were given to us from uh, Rob and Sylvia. From Hungary. That's right, originally from Hungary. They now live in uh, Queensland. In Queensland. <laughs> they were the ones that had the, uh, the V-Strom 1000. Nice looking bloody bike. So, crack that open. Oh, it's a bit of a look. Oh. Oh, that's looking pretty pale. So I think Matt has worked out that this is a German beer, and I think I remember Rob and Sylvia saying it was a German beer. It puts a bloody head on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Work that over there. Cheers. Prost. Prost. Ah, oh, yes, German. Prost. Prost. Thanks, Rob and Sylvia. Finally got around to bloody having it. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Yeah. I was quite surprised how um, how light a beer that is. So it's 5.2% alcohol. Yeah, 5.2. Yeah. The whole bottle, it's, it's, in, it's actually imported here into Australia, so everything on it is written in German, except for the unimportant stuff. Yeah, so 5.2%, 1.4 standard drinks. So it says, what was it, Lowenbrau? Lowenbrau. Lowenbrau, which means, you looked it up? Uh, lion's Head. I think is what he said. 
lion's head. Yeah. Huh. yeah. There you go. Bloody crazy. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is pretty good, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah I like that one. So, you ready for the uh, the heat wave coming? No, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that winter's finally decided to disappear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. True. Um, but no, not not at all ready for the heat. No. So we're going to get 41 on Thursday. 41 now, is it? Yeah. I thought it was 40. Yeah, 41 and 40 on Friday. Wow. So it's going to be hot. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. There'll be no insulation putting in my uh, in the in the roof. I was in there yesterday, about one o'clock. Just so hot up in there. Yeah. So I managed to get four four, four and more bats. Yeah. I'm actually yeah, having nice. them. They're going to spray foam inside, but the way our roof goes it's it's like that and when you get down to the end parts like the gap is like that big and it goes for a long way so they reckon they can't get the spray foam in the far ends so what they've done is they've given me the bats and I've said I'll I'll whack them in there because he said if we if they've got to do it it's a real tight space they said it'll cost you a fortune for us to do it so I stupidly said I'll bloody have a shot at doing it and it's yeah, not easy. That's a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ten degrees hotter up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just yeah. sweat it just crazy. Yeah. yeah, not a fun job. Good job for Nay. She's smaller than me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, you'll fit through the manhole. This is our day to get Brett. Yeah. <laughs> Brett's even yeah. smaller. She so can walk up right now. Nay's <laughs> over there. Hello. Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. So tomorrow is Christmas Day, isn't it? It is. It is. Tomorrow is Christmas. Yeah. So this video is going to be hopefully going up tonight. Even though it's Man Cave Tuesday, Tuesday is obviously tomorrow, Tomorrow, which is Christmas. Christmas. I think it's rude to upload a video on Christmas Day when people should be... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Mighty Cartloads have got one coming out tomorrow. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh, oh, I've got well. new... Temples and Turbos or something like that. Oh. Like a cinematic, theatrical yeah, right. movie thing coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, we could, oh. Anyway, it doesn't watch it. Yeah, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, my, my boat was saying, put it up today, not tomorrow, when people are normally... Oh, now people have the option. Yeah, look at that boat. Oh. Well, that's it. Yeah. Well, I reckon I'd happily drink that. Yeah. Yeah, I could drink yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. No worries at all. Yeah, no, it's good. So you got I, I can't say I've had a bad German beer though. No. They're, pre they're pretty good at it. Pretty good at most bloody shit, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Except for when it comes to BMWs, they're hopeless at that. <laughs> Arguable, but... <laughs> That's a yes. joke. Was it Germany that had the... Was it the Volkswagen? They had the... Yeah, that was the people's car. Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, but they had the they were cheating the emissions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're that good, was... but not that good. <laughs> no, 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 maybe back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. So you got all your paint jobs done. You're all that's it. Finished my last one on Friday, and I'm back on Boxing Day or the day after. So right in the middle of the day. Yeah. Well, that's your grandparents. Yeah, go to your grandparents' oh. place. Yeah. While I'm on holidays. Got him done out of the way. Yeah. Holidays. <laughs> He's a good grandson. Oh. Well, if I don't do it then, I won't get the chance. Mm. It'll just get pushed off and pushed off. Yeah. All right, guys. Done. That's it. Got anything else to say? No, I don't think so. Yeah. All right, everybody. Cheers. Have a merry Christmas. We'll come back to you in a minute. I'll with bloody nay a bit later, but yeah. Cheers. Prost. Prost. <laughs> Thanks, Robin Sylvia. Rightio, guys. That's it. That's Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted. The last one. For, I know we weren't going to have another one until 2019, but it's Christmas, so I thought we'd bloody well do one. Hey? That's it. Say Merry Christmas. Yeah. Um, so we will see you in 2019 with a whole heap of new videos and bloody whatever crap goes new on. New enthusiasm. Yes, that's it. New enthusiasm. Rightio, guys. Have a bloody Merry Christmas. And remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.